Hi, I'm Christian McElveen, and we're here with Tracking Wolves with Joe Gomez, one of our All-Americans here at NSU. Thanks, Joe, for coming on today. Yeah, thanks, man. So, uh, we just wanted to, to ask you, you know, obviously you're finishing up your wrestling career, and that's that's been something that's well-decorated here at Northern State, but uh, what are your plans for doing, uh, you know, after school? Um, so, I plan to just, you know, get a job here soon as a CNA, one of the local hospitals, and kind of just hang out and coach the guys I'll be living here in the summer and you know get to work with some of the bigger guys and kind of start paying it back to the program and then um, I'll be actually walking here in the spring and I plan to start the accelerated per, uh, nursing program here in January of 2018 then that only takes a year probably start working as a nurse for two to three years and start applying for nursing anesthesia school so a little bit of a drawn out. I got a lot, a lot of schooling left, so it'll give me something to compete for now. So, yeah, well, I mean, being a, a an athlete, you're always you're always competing. Obviously, you're gonna compete in the classroom. Um, yeah, that it that is a long drawn out plan, but it's it's something that will pay off in the long run. Are you are you excited about it? Kind of nervous, or you know? Um, I think that I was more like nervous in fact, because I know it's a lot of tough schooling and stuff originally, but. These last couple months, I've kind of realized, you know, like I'm, I have wrestling to focus on right now. And when the school gets there, it'll come. Uh, I just noticed a lot when I was younger, I'd always look forward ahead to all these things and kind of get overwhelmed by them. But now, you know, I realize that uh, if I just keep working hard and doing the things I'm doing, that I'm sure it'll come to me and there'll be some adversity during it. But uh, I'm just kind of excited to, you know, grow th from that and really become, you know student I can and become you know really good at my profession and I'm looking forward to that now you're you're from the west coast you're from Washington correct yeah are, <laughs> are you planning on staying here in the Midwest or moving back or don't really have yeah. a long-term plan for where you're gonna end up just kind of riding it out right now well this is a question that I can't answer if my girlfriend is gonna see this <laughs> but I, um, <laughs> I, I really like the Midwest um, I've kind of just, it's grown on me. I like the culture um, of wrestling, especially out here, and then just the culture of, you know, small town living. Um, and yeah, I really enjoy the Midwest, but I'd also, you know, I'm young and I have open mind, open eyes to checking out other parts of the country, kind of, you know, seeing, getting a feel for everything. But um, I mean, I am pretty satisfied. I do like living out here. and. Uh, it's definitely enjoyable enough for me. So well, I guess that's another thing I'm kind of used to think a lot about. And now I just kind of I'm just gonna ride the wave, see how it rolls. Well, your your wrestling career has obviously been something that's uh, <coughs> in the top tier of the the school history. I mean, you're a two-time All-American, correct? Three. three time, three-time All-American. And uh, how how has that been? You know, obviously coming from from Washington and, and moving out here and, and kind of finding finding your own way uh, when you when you get to a new place. Obviously, that's that's smaller than where you're from, and you know, starting your wrestling career and you know how how's that really changed you as a person? Because I mean, that's a that's a long way to go to to come out here and take a chance on you know wrestling in college and and obviously becoming an All-American? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd say that I kind of knew what I was getting into moving out here. Um, that I came out here, you know, and I kind of wanted that fresh start. And I started wrestling late back in high school. And um, I guess that, you know, I was a little bit behind the curve and I kind of wanted to get on a new page um, versus being like the new guy out there. So either way, everyone was on a fresh start over here. and. Um, 
really just I just tried to enjoy as much of every second out here as I could and you know adapt to the new culture of wrestling here and um, I don't know it's it's I wouldn't say it's been too much adversity you know and uh, I just really liked it out here the, the minute I got here and uh, I had supportive coaches and people around me like support that I've never I never saw back home so they made it even easier you know because it just wasn't a strong wrestling community where I was from back home but uh just kind of having that support and stuff it made it easier it was uh I would say it was really easy to acclimate here because of Northern State so you know I, I, and I had high expectations from being a freshman I was very driven and focused on it but um I, I guess I just had people that would help me believe that those things could happen so now for many people I mean you wrestling is kind of an interesting sport because it is somewhat of a of a solo thing within a team yeah. uh, setting you know you 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 can only wrestle one person at a time but uh, you're part of, you're part of this bigger team with other guys in different weight classes um, how is meeting your teammates obviously coming from you know different places uh, across the Midwest um, you guys seem like you're a very close-knit really really tight group of guys um, how how has been uh, that experience meeting meeting those those guys that are now going to be your teammates and possibly some of your you know your best friends for the rest of your life? Yeah, no, I mean definitely the guys that I met out here are some of my best friends. Um, it's just great kind of getting to you know, see you know other people's perspectives of just kind of how they grew up and their opinion on you know wrestling and where they you know I don't know, I guess it's just the fact that they're all. In high school, and my friends are kind of on the team, you know, and we were, we would hang out and stuff, but we were all from the same high school. You kind of gain all these people that are more solely focused on the things that you're focused on, and I think that really helped me positively, like, pick my friends here to kind of steer me in the right direction, not just the people I, you know, enjoyed hanging out with, but all these friends have kind of helped me, and, you know, a lot of them are right around my weight, and I think that they deserve, you know, just as much props and credit to the you know success of wrestling that I've had for being my partners just over the last few years you know I couldn't have done it by myself so um, I just really look up to those guys for giving me a lot of perspective and then you know also just being cool supportive good friends and um, you know making me able to get the training and become as you know I guess good as I am <laughs> yeah. so and I, I mean, obviously, when when you got here, the the Northern State Wrestling Program was kind of rocky, mm -hmm. right? Um, then last year we had kind of a a bump in the road. You guys got an, a new coach, and and uh, can you talk about how kind of that that roller coaster of you know putting Northern State Wrestling on the map has been for you? Obviously, because you know you're one of our better wrestlers, but you're also one of the leaders in that room. Uh, how has changing the culture at Northern been for wrestling? Um, you know, I think that Rock and Jer, uh, our coaches, are doing a really good job, you know, and our assistants too. Um, I think they're doing a really good job of trying to promote culture, but it doesn't happen overnight. We're still building on that, but I can, you know, I can see the, um, the difference of the culture from each year from my freshman to sophomore to junior to senior year, how much it's just, you know, I wouldn't say it's flipped completely upside down, you know, but it's made substantial progress um, to the point where I think, you know, a couple more years you start integrating that culture, you have, you know, alums stick around and kind of preach that culture too, that um, it eventually will be on on track, the, you know, the way that we want to get a more ideal. But it is a working progress, but I think that um, it's something that, has has had good progress for our program especially from my perspective so and now being being here at northern state is is a is a different different feel from from being probably anywhere else in the country i mean we have a we have a very very good fan base you know we're a smaller community in in south dakota how has how has being here you know really changed maybe who you are as a person obviously you you said that you know you like being in the midwest but 
talking about just just the college, what what about Northern State has been special in your four years here? I would honestly say that one of the most important things to me, and I think that it should be for a lot of athletes, is just like, you know, the way this university, how good of a job it does recognizing people. You know, like, um, I mean, plus besides all like social media and stuff, just like more on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, you walk by someone or I'll, I'll be in, um, I'll be in Kessler's and there'll be someone buying groceries in front of me and they look back and, you know, I might not know who they are, but, you know, they're really friendly and, you know, proud of them, you know, want to shake hands or, you know, make you feel good about the success you had. And um, I think those are the things that really, over the years, kind of helped me, especially from my freshman year on, realize the type of impact I could have, not only just by being an athlete, but, you know, the fact that I have had that athletic success, how it can motivate or people and other athletes and stuff and I think that, that that recognition that Northern State pays so well to their athletes is kind of the reason, you know, it gives us a good reason to strive for success and want to do the things that we're doing and keep working at it every day. So thank you to Northern State and Aberdeen for that. Good you know, good good following here. I think that's I think that's obviously one of the, the things that uh, draw a lot of people in about Northern State, obviously, because we're a small, we're a small community. But we have a we have a great fan base. We have really supportive professors uh, in the classroom who, you know, understand that athletes have some some time restraints on, on what they're doing, and they you know they go through a lot of things. But being in school, you know, you here they do a really good job of of making you feel like you know you're you're special no matter if you're the best player on your team or you know just part of your team mm -hmm. uh, and i think aberdeen does a does a wonderful job of being supportive of everybody who participates in in athletics and uh obviously the the school does a good job of reaching out to the community you know have you have you done anything in the community that you're especially proud of or uh you know or you're going to come back two or three years later, you know, 10 years down the road, and, you know, it's still probably going to be standing and, you know, be proud of, of the things that you've done in Aberdeen? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I wouldn't say I've done something too monumental to change the community, but um, I think that, you know, realize that, you know, our influence, and, and this goes for all the guys on my team, too, and, you know, like, especially the young kids in the area, I think that I've helped with a lot of that I mean you know you see more and more kids want to come up and say hi or take a selfie with you or something that's kind of funny but um, you know motivating those those kids in the area and then um, I joined SAC a couple years ago and uh, you know we've done a lot with local um, and say fundraise but community service here and there and you know, weekly having athletes kind of in, you know, at, at all places at once doing the adopt a wolf and we're having a kid's night out here in the next couple weeks. So um, that Sundance gave me the idea and I'm trying to get the ball rolling on that. So I think that I have done things in the community, you know, that um, are somewhat admirable, at least for myself. And I'm proud of them. And I, I hope to see, you know, these type of this type of community work be done by, you know, uh, all athletes, but you know, especially these wrestlers, kind of get back to our culture. You know, of having a community that want or a culture that wants to give back. So, um, yeah, I mean, I just hope that um, some of the stuff I have done in the community, I know it will probably leave a little impact, but I want that impact to snowball the other guys. You know, so they kind of carry it on. But yeah. <laughs> all right. Well. <laughs> I think that's that's good enough for today. But Joe, thank you for for coming on and, and giving us a little insight into to who you are. And uh, obviously, congratulations on your wrestling career. It's been a pleasure for me to watch, obviously, and, and the people of Aberdeen. So thank you very much. And uh, that's it. That's all we have for today. All right.